supermodels the queens of the catwalk but is there a twist in, in the tale in what makes them such catwalk royalty wow in this case it's one against me i'll be exploring the case against supermodels Models have been practically seen every day by us on magazines, on TV, and even in the news, regardless if it's in print or on the telly. But supermodels do pose a very big negative impact, specifically, specifically in today's youth society. When talking about the form of stereotypes and also having to keep yourself image conscious, this CFAA video talks about their negative side. And I'm going to be exploring that into why supermodels are really are a bad influence. Though some boys out there will be hating at me for sl for slaughtering or potentially slandering supermodels. But I remember because of their appearance, obviously, because it's boys. Supermodels have been renowned for their own weight restrictions, which means they have to keep to a certain weight in order to be employable for the fashion house they work for or employer, whoever they are. Problem is, people who want to be like supermodels end up having to, let's say, starve themselves to an extent. If that's a harsh term, I do apologise. But sometimes trying to be like a supermodel or following their footsteps does lead to, to anorexia, an eating disorder, which actually just prevents you from eating in order to keep slim. However, and it's proven that anorexia is unhealthy and that regardless of the supermodel, supermodel's healthy lifestyle, it well, in appearance, in reality, it is really, really unhealthy. As well as their, let's say, weight restrictions as part of their um, lifestyle, supermodels have also been renowned for taking drugs in order to keep with that, which again leads to the unhealthy lifestyle, as well as depicting quite a lot of moral issues and opinion-based issues for those who are against them, like me, such as the choice of occupation. To me, it doesn't really fully utilise a person's talents. If they've got an A in English and yet they do supermodeling, wow, blime, that's not utilising your creativity whatsoever. Okay, it might get a lot of events and you might be all over the news everywhere, but hey, it's not exactly idyllic, specifically if it's going to lead you to be unhealthy in the future. And the final point I am going to get across about supermodels is their idol status. To me, they're not even worthy idols. They're just people who strut around a catwalk all day, well, or for a certain part of their life, and they're just trying to get themselves long on the newspapers, promoting fashion sense, and trying to get, well, fame in the news. Like Cara Delevingne, who, idyllically, though most boys will comment on her as a, sl as a fairly attractive teenage supermodel, to me, she's not exactly worthy as role model. And, well, let's be honest, idols like, Idols need to be somebody who you should aspire to, who have done great, like writers or charity workers, like David Beckham for instance. He's not necessarily a supermodel, but he has done plenty of charity work, which does make him a worthy idol. And one more footnote to this argument is the potential of going a bit diva when it comes to, let's say, getting the fame to your head, or when it comes to getting out or wearing certain fashions, it does become pretty much hell and it becomes pretty much picky and diva like the diva like sense does apply to those who have fame shot up to their heads and i fear if people want to go down the supermodel industry i have that sudden fear that people who are going to turn, want to be supermodels when they're older are going to have the diva sense struck in their heads and it's going to be like demanding for weird types of spring water from the Peruvian mountains or something. So that is my potentially brief CFAA video. If you want to see more cases for and against then you know where to look. Description. Also feel free to comment in the comments below and also on Twitter and Facebook. And also feel free to check out the previous cases for and against with my cases for the Rings of Aka 10 and Ewan Grant's cases against guns and violence. So yeah, I shall see you soon for the next CFAA. Bye! You started having guns, you know, having guns in your house to protect yourself from robbers and stuff like that. I don't agree with having guns.